on this video I'm gonna show you how I did my peacock um, Manny I was asked if I could do a tutorial how I did it so I'm gonna use this plate um, this is a YZWZ19 and what else I'm gonna need hold on all right so I got these pop sticks already okay I got four of them so I can show you how to place the image I'm gonna need four and I'm gonna need what else stamper I'm gonna use this sticky these are from Columbia on GP stampers they're very sticky and soft um, I'm gonna use Mundo de Uñas stamping polish in black and to color I'm gonna use these these are stamping polishes but since the color is so vibrant and beautiful I was like uh, I'll, I will use these to color um, the peacock and this is the nail polish this is the um, what is it Revlon and this is a yeah Revlon and this one is a holographic holographic pearls you can find this at Walmart I think I think they're still selling it this is so beautiful um, okay so this is what I did And this is where it gets tricky because I'm going to use this stamper and it's so sticky and I got a hole. I'm running out of stamping polish. I need to open a new one. Hopefully that's enough. Okay. And then I'm going to grab my Sticky stamper. I told you, super sticky. All right, as you guys can see, I didn't get the whole image, but that's okay. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go back. So I'm gonna get rid of that part. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna keep this and then I'm gonna go back with another stamper and I will get the top part, the one that I'm missing. Okay, so I'm gonna get a clean condom and then I put, I got some alcohol here, just regular alcohol because I learned that you use alcohol for Mundo de Uñas, it's not going to make a mess all over the place, so I kind of like that. Look at how easy that is to clean. It doesn't make a mess like with the acetone. Okay, so now I'm going to try to pick up that. And this is just a regular candy head that I put on Fab Your Nails holder and I'm missing this part right here there you go all right so now we're ready <laughs> see it doesn't make that much of a mess and it's already clean. Alright, so we don't need that anymore. And just like I did in the other video, we're gonna have to start coloring everything. Okay. Let me get my brushes. Now, 
it's up to you what color you want to call it a peacock. Uh, I mean, uh, I think I did the whole thing green. Yeah. Over here. Alright. So, for the color, for for the eye of a peacock, I use this tiny brush with a little bit of black stamping polish on it. And I'm just gonna... Color it. Alright, so once I'm done with the eye, I'm going to start working on the feathers. Okay, we're going to let that dry. And we'll do the same thing to the peacock. that dry and I'll be right back all right so now that that the blue is dry we're gonna we're gonna put the green on the top and again if you want to do first the green and the rest blue it's up to you I just did it this way because this is the way that I wanted. And just do it very lightly so you don't smear the black polish under.
All right. So now we're going to let this dry again. And that's going to take a couple minutes. And we're going to do the same thing with the peacock. Okay. This is going to be, I guess the tricky part is just the head. And you got to be careful. Okay, and the rest we can do it with the brush of the nail polish. Okay. And for the peak, I'm just going to use a tiny bit of white. I actually thought, I think I did it like orange stamping polish or the peak. So I'm just going to do white. And then what I did for the flowers, I just used this color paint by OPI. Okay. And this is really got to be very careful. They're so tiny. I'm just going to do a couple of them. This should be enough. I should have got rid of this part right here. And I think someone was, someone was playing with my limb rollers full of hairs. Probably my daughter. Alright, so I'll be right back. I'm going to have to let this dry. So I can put some of that um, clear polish on top. Okay, that's our next step, and let it dry again. So I'll be right. So I'm back, and this is not completely dry, but dry is good enough. Um, so I'm just gonna add some of that wet and wild shine. Okay, now this this time we're going to have to let this dry really good before I can remove it from the stamper. Otherwise it's going to rip and especially because this stamper is so sticky. It's like extra sticky. 
So we're gonna let that dry and now we're gonna do the same thing to this one. And once it's dry, I will show you how to place them in place. Okay. Alright guys, well, I'll be guys, back. So I'm back and what I did, um, I removed the decals from the um, sticky stampers and I put them here on the clear stampers and look how beautiful that is. Okay, same thing with this. So what I want to do now, I'm going to place them on the pop sticks. And I'm going to add some of that wet and wild. And I mentioned this before. I, I always get these from the Dollar, Dollar Tree store. So now I'm just going to see where I want to place the, the peacock. Just gonna place it okay and this is the part where these <laughs> become handy okay As you can see, there's a little flower that I color. And then I'm just going to add some acetone here. And I'm just going to melt the rest of the polish that is hanging on the side. And you just kind of be very careful. And the acetone helps um, the decal stick to the edge of your nails. So once you do that, you're ready to apply top coat. Now we're going to place the rest of the decals. <laughs> I'm sorry. Just sometimes I forget what I'm doing that I'm recording and you know, it's a little bit hard. When you do this kind of thing, um, when you're doing this, you just kind of want to move around to where you you feel that you're going to be able to Okay, so now we're going to do the same thing. I'm just going to cut I think I cut too much. Alright, so I'm gonna save that on the side. And I'm gonna be very careful with this. Placing it. And I could have let this dry more. It's kind of stretchy. Alright, and then you do the same thing. You're going to melt whatever's left.
Okay. And then you put your top coat. And once you put your top coat, you can see those colors just pop more. Alright. And now I'm just going to have two more pop sticks. So I got to figure out what I'm going to do. Do the same thing. I'm just gonna leave it like that. I feel like I can do better in my nails than the in the pop sticks. But still. got the last one and as I don't know if you guys noticed that I haven't really been putting any of this anymore because since it's, I mean it is dry but not like I only let it dry like for five minutes so you know it's still sticking to the pop stick which is good because I don't need to add the clear oh my goodness And then I can do this. This is the last part. And I'm just gonna place it like that. See how it's sticking without any clear polish? That's a good thing. It's not a bad, it's not a bad thing. And we're just gonna melt this with that stone. So we're done with that. And let me show you guys. Oh god, I'm <laughs> touching the wet one.
peacock using this plate that I really, really like. Alright guys, so if you guys like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and thank you for watching, and y'all have a good night. Bye.